close a toast. Yeah. Yeah. To my husband, Greg Montgomery, who despite working his butt off for the past 10 weeks to put away a bunch of really bad guys, still had the energy to come home every night and make hot jungle love to his <laughs> wife. Thanks, dear. No, thank you. <laughs> Shirt, shoes, sneaker, socks, Greg Montgomery totally rocks! Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, son. Thanks, Dad. Oh, oh, I'd like you to meet Andy Reynolds. He's a political consultant. What brings you out here tonight? I wanted to meet the next congressman from the 8th District. Oh, yeah? Who's that? You. Excuse me? A high-profile case like this puts you in the spotlight. This is what you've always talked about, son. Yeah, but that was uh, someday. It... Well, someday is today. You're young, you're smart, you're good-looking. You come from a good family. Best of all, you have no skeletons in the closet. Nothing that can embarrass you. Go, 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 go. go. That's true. <laughs> Say you were a congressman, okay? How many guys would have to die before you become president? All of them. Dharma, I don't know if you've thought this through. It means leaving your friends, your family, and... I make new friends! And my family, man, they go to Washington like four times a year. We have the environmental rallies and the no-nukes protests and the legalized marijuana march. <laughs> they never get it organized. You do understand that if by some wild stretch of the imagination I actually get elected, we... Of course you'll get elected, Greg. Look at his face. Look! <laughs> His face belongs on money. Donna, you're not taking this seriously. Sure I am. I think it's great, and I want to do it. But, oh, never mind. What? It's... Oh, okay, you had this whole convinced Dharma speech plan, didn't you? Well, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Gee, Greg, Washington, I... it's so far away, I just don't think I'd like that. Okay, go. I can't do it now. You wrecked Come it. Come on, tell me. Okay. Okay, sit down. Okay. Dharma, this is something I've wanted all my life. This is why I went into the U.S. Attorney's Office, so that someday I could get this shot. But if I'm gonna do this, if we're gonna do this, you need to understand how tough it's gonna be. Public life is brutal. You live in a fishbowl. Hey, I've lived in a fishbowl. Well, not lived. I worked there. It was a nightclub called Mermaids. And I had to swim around for two-hour shifts. But it wasn't so bad, though. Well, you did get pretty pruney. But it's... If we do this, it's gonna mean a lot of changes, Greg, and... I am not afraid of change. It's what makes life interesting. Yeah, you realize you'll have to change, too. Why? What the hell's wrong with me? Well, in my book, nothing. But there are certain expectations of a congressman's wife. Yeah, I know. So I buy a few bras. Big deal. <laughs> so anyway, I thought, you know, who better to teach me than Greg's mom? <laughs> Could you say that again? What didn't you understand? Oh, I understood completely. I just want to hear it again. I need your help to turn me into a politician's wife. <laughs> Sorry. I... You're not going to make me say it a third time, are you? No, no. All right. Oh, well, there is so much to do. Where to begin? Hmm. Look at you. You're just one big gangly before picture, aren't you? <laughs> Kitty, I feel kind of vulnerable right now, so if you could just ease up a hair. You want to be a politician's wife? Toughen up. All right, we have hair, we have makeup, we have wardrobe, we have decorum. You know, Kitty, I'm not entirely new to politics. <laughs> I was class president all through high school. Oh, I was led to believe you were homeschooled by your mother. Well, yeah, but they were still tough campaigns. <laughs> mother. Father, thank you so much for coming. Gregory and I truly appreciate your support. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing? Acid. Ow! No, 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 sit down, come on. I have some really great news. Sit, sit, sit. What? 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 
Okay, so you know how Greg just won this really big case? Yeah. <sighs> yes. I told you about it. I said yes. <laughs> anyway, because of that, he's been asked to run for Congress. <laughs> so say something, what do you think? If this is a joke, tell me now. Because my arm is numb and somebody might have to pound on my chest. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, Larry. Calm down. Calm down. That's what you said when she married a U.S. attorney. That's what you said when she had the big country club wedding. Where do I draw the line, Abby? When she's rounding us up with the rest of the proletariat and having us shovel out the stables of the Uber class? What the heck is the Uber class anyway, Larry? You won't have to know, Abby. You'll just have to shovel. Larry! He's gonna do great things for this country. Like what? What are his positions? Where does he stand on, uh, I don't know, uh, health care? Okay, Kitty taught me how to handle this. Oh, <laughs> sir, my husband, Gregory Montgomery, is very sensitive to your needs, and I can assure you that they will be given the appropriate consideration. He didn't answer my question at all. <laughs> I know, isn't that awesome? <laughs> There goes my arm again. All right, Larry, calm down. Uh, how's it going? Really badly. Want me to take a shot at it? Knock yourself out. Okay, Larry, I think you're missing the big picture here. If your son-in-law goes to Washington, buddies up with Bill Clinton, next thing you know, you're having lunch with rock and roll legend Don Henley. Oh, God, bad choice. Have you dated Don Henley? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was witchy woman. <laughs> That's all I got. What time's the party? Party? What party? See, that's the thing. There's gonna be a party tonight to announce Greg's candidacy, and I really want you guys to be there to show your support. Oh, well, that sounds lovely, Dharma, and we'd be honored. Hold to on, you. hold on. You want us to just check our ethics at the door and hobnob with a bunch of corrupt power brokers without uttering what we know to be the truth of the dark underbelly of the American political machine? Uh-huh, and could you please wear a tie? <laughs> Well, I guess this is it. Mm -hmm. You ready? You bet. <laughs> Dharma, this announcement is uh, my first public appearance as a candidate. It sets my image and the whole tone of the campaign. Aww. You're scared I'm gonna do something really out there, aren't you? <laughs> you are the same woman who held up a lighter at the symphony and shouted, Beethoven's fifth, Beethoven's fifth. <laughs> they played it. You s See what I'm saying. Greg, relax, okay? I can do this, all right? It's just, it's like a play where the actors just make up their lines as they go along and no one knows how it's gonna end. That's not like a play at all. <laughs> oh, that is such a charming story. Well, you know, speaking of rabbis, priests, and ministers in a life raft, <laughs> Did you know that my husband, Gregory Montgomery, is very supportive of all major religions and many of the minor ones as well? <clears throat> Adama, dear, could I talk to you for just a moment? Oh, won't you excuse me? I'm going to have a word with beloved mother of my husband, Gregory Montgomery, Kitty Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs> Dama, dear, I thought we had agreed that for this evening you would simply smile, nod, and blink when your eyes are dry. I know, I know, I know. It was just going so well, I thought I'd just jump ahead to the small talk. Jump back. <laughs> What's the matter, Kitty? Are you afraid the student has surpassed the master? <laughs> Never forget, my dear. I may have taught you everything you know, but I have not taught you everything I know. Hi, Sensei. Arigato. <laughs> You see that guy over there? He just agreed to funnel $10,000 into your campaign. All you gotta do is get his brother out of prison. I'm the one who put his brother in prison. Well, that's great. So you know him. Uh, Pete, this is going really well. Don't screw it up for me. Well, it looks like I won't have to. The professionals are here. Oh, no. What's he doing here? Well, you could ask him. He might not know. Hi. Oh, we're so, so proud of you. And I want you to know that Larry's going to be on his best behavior, right, honey? I'm only allowed to talk to her. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> a couple things you should know. Uh, they just put the dessert out, and uh, your wife's trying to rip the head off a state senator. Uh, Dharma? Excuse me. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, well, she's, she's done what my chiropractor's been trying to do for six weeks. Will you come with me? My husband has a slip disc. Sure. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? One, two, three. What are we fighting for? Larry, what are you doing? Can't be sure, but uh, I think he's protesting the Vietnam War. <laughs> and it's five, six, seven. Open up the pearly gates. Well, there ain't no time to wonder why. Whoopee! We're all gonna die. <laughs> uh, what's uh, going on? Greg, why didn't you tell me you were related to this rascal? I don't know. At the time, it seemed better not to. <laughs> We went to Berkeley together. No, no, no. You went to Berkeley. I was the outside agitator. <laughs> so what happened? You sold out and went mainstream, huh? Hey, how long can you drive around in a Volkswagen minibus with shag carpeting on the walls? 32 years next March. <laughs> Dama, dear, several of the ladies have been asking what your charitable affiliations will be. Oh, uh, well, I already work with a group that finds housing for the homeless. Excellent, but we'll call it beautifying the parks. <laughs> or we could start a summer job program for kids to pull that big stick out of her butt. May I have everyone's attention, please? It is my distinct pleasure to introduce the man who will finally unseat Earl Washburn, the next congressman from this district, my son, Greg Montgomery. Hey! Thank you, Dad. Thanks, Mother. And thanks to all of you for coming this evening, especially the media um, for coming tonight. I certainly didn't expect this exposure. My uh, opponent, Earl Washburn, is evasive on the issues. But I have nothing to hide. I want everyone here to see exactly what Greg Montgomery is bringing to the party. Dharma, what are you... You want me to drive? Only if I can lie down in front of the car. So your fly was open. Big deal. It humanized you, Greg. It made you vulnerable. It made you, made you someone that people can relate to. Pharma, the only people who can relate to me now are perverts and people who can't dress themselves. Well, there's a lot of them. And they vote, too. You know, I never thanked you for everything you did, spending all that time with my mother. Oh, I enjoyed it. You did? Oh, God, like someone could enjoy it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm showing my support for the candidate. Here? Yes, here. <laughs> in a car in front of my parents' house? This is like high school. <laughs> you did it in a car? Yeah, where did you do it? In my bedroom. What about your parents? They have their own bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that was lightning. Come on, don't be such a gloomy Gus. You don't know that they're gonna print that picture, Greg. Well, that's true. They do have that great one of me with my fly open. <laughs> no, honey, I think the best thing I can do for you right now is to just give you your own space. Thank you. Do you want some pudding? <laughs> Did you know there was a full moon last night? It's all over the papers. Jane, not now. Okay, when? Oh, now's fine, Dharma. Thank you. Front page, congressional candidate cut with pants down. See, that's you, that's Dharma, and way down there by your ankles, that's your pants! <laughs> okay. I think you better go now. <laughs> <laughs>
Did I say something wrong? Uh-huh. It was funny, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. Hi, you. You're not mad at me, are you? Of course not. I love you, and I need to make sure you really understand that, because we may never have sex again. <laughs> no, honey, sometimes the universe puts obstacles in our path to teach us things, to make us stronger and wiser. I know that, Dharma. You're right. You think it'll have a bad effect on our marriage if I start drinking in the morning? <laughs> Why don't I get that? Hi. Hi. Is your phone off the hook? I've been trying to call you all morning. Sorry. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Listen to this. Front page of the Times. In this climate of immorality, our faith in human decency is renewed by the story of congressional candidate Greg Montgomery caught making love to his own wife. Our faith in human decency... Shut up! <laughs> this is good news? Good! This is fantastic! The morning shows love you. Talk radio is all over this. Greg, you're what this country's been waiting for. A sexy politician who's got the hots for his wife. <laughs> Here, check this out. Now, have you heard about this guy, Greg Montgomery, who is running for Congress here in California? And he has been caught having sex, uh, but that's not the unusual part. It was uh, with Mrs. Montgomery. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, now, he's not committing adultery, so uh, we know he's not a Democrat. <laughs> uh, but he was having sex, so we know he's not a Republican. <laughs> We've got to keep an eye on this guy. I don't believe this. <laughs> well, believe it. You're back in the race, and you're going to beat Washburn. Dharma, do you know what this means? <laughs> yes, you're not going to turn into a grumpy old alcoholic who lives on our couch. Yeah! <laughs> but most importantly, the voters deserve a congressman who's working to serve their needs and not his own. Okay, that was uh, congressional candidate Greg Montgomery. And let's open up the phone lines and let's talk back San Francisco. We've got Carol on line four. Mr. Montgomery, I just want you to know you've definitely got my vote. Well, thank you very much. What's your question? Oh, it's actually for your wife. Dharma, how do you keep your husband interested in sex? <laughs> well, it starts with your attitude. I mean, I like to think of sex with Greg as a form of meditation where our bodies join together to reach a higher consciousness. Although there are times when I just jump him in the shower. <laughs> it does, uh... Does that help you, uh, Carol? Yes, thank you. Okay, next question. <laughs> Line of four. Yeah, I wanted to ask Greg about medical marijuana. Uh, well, you know, that's a very complicated... Mr. Finkelstein, is that you? No. No, my name is Ed. Ed Zeppelin. <laughs> okay, if you just tuned in. We're uh, talking with congressional candidate Greg Montgomery. He's taking your calls. We've got Stuart, line five. Yeah, I'd like to change the subject a little bit and talk about what Mr. Montgomery's gonna do in Washington. Good, I'd love to talk about that. Well, listen, when your wife's not with you, do you need a dirty magazine or do you, you just wing it? <laughs> Mr. Montgomery, what do you say to the American auto worker who wants to know why you were having sex in a foreign car? <laughs> Sir, any truth to the rumor that you and your wife are posing for a calendar? You see, day after day, it's the same thing. That's it. I quit. Well, what are you talking about? This isn't the way I want to do this, Dharma. I don't want to go to Washington on the slap and tickle ticket. Hey, you're the one who said this is what you've wanted to do your whole life. I know. And you said that we were going to have to make some compromises. Yeah, but I meant mostly you. <laughs> Greg, come here. You can't bail on this now. You can do so much good. I mean it. I believe in you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll hang in there. Hmm, yeah. And frankly, I think that you should just keep on having sex with me in public places until you're president of the United States. <laughs> Montgomery for Congress, we're doing it for America. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Oh, what? Oh, uh, Washburn's on Channel 7. Oh. As difficult as it is to say this, 
it has been more difficult to live this lie the last 30 years. So with the support of my loving wife and my close friend, Lloyd, <laughs> I'm coming out of the closet and I'm saying to all of my constituents and colleagues that Earl Washburn is gay and proud of it. <laughs> I think this is gonna hurt me? Honey, this is San Francisco, and unless you can turn into Judy Garland right now, you're through. <laughs> hey, Greg, ever done it in a streetcar before? Oh, what's the point, Dharma? My political career is all... Clang, 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 went the trolley. Ding, 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 went the bell.